Hi, Robin with OxyDry, and uh, today um, we're in the garage, and we're going to talk about vacuums. Um, and as you can see, this is uh, most of my vacuums. Yes, I have a few more, um, but um, these are all working vacuums. And um, so I want to talk about uh, the. Um, advantages and disadvantages of some of these vacuums because uh, uh, just to help out those of you who are wondering which vacuum to get uh, and um, give you some insight and thoughts uh, from my experience using these various types of vacuums over the years and uh, um, just um, let you know what I think. Um, let's talk about, um, first of all, we'll talk about these um, these vacuums that are sitting right here. This vacuum is actually um, about 18 years old. This is um, a Sanyo, um, and there's many, this vacuum would represent a lot of vacuums of this style. Panasonic makes one, the commercial version. Um, obviously Sanyo, and I think Sony makes one. Um, there's various different manufacturers that make this sort of a vacuum. This actually was a vacuum, believe it or not, I bought from my wife for, uh, <laughs> I think it was an anniversary. Uh, don't, don't, don't get on my case. She actually really needed it and she's really liked it. And she was, cause the one she had was a piece of junk. But anyway, it's a typical, um, upright, uh, with a paper bag in it. It has a, it has a great, it really has a lot of power. It has, uh, attachment on the back for the or place on the back for the tools of course the hose pops off and um, it's a quite a convenient vacuum they're not really meant for a commercial at least this one's not really meant as a commercial vacuum the handle actually has broken a couple of times i've epoxied it but anyway it still functions well uh brush roll hasn't worn out yet uh motor is still going fine uh but anyway, there's there's different versions of this type of vacuum that you can buy. Uh, a lot of janitorial supply companies. I know Johnny Link, I think, so, sells something like this. And Hesco sells um, vacuums like this. Um, and there's other uh, suppliers that'll sell a sort of a standard plastic-bodied uh, vacuum where they... Uh, it has the, uh, the vacuum motor, also spins the brush roll. This one has a... It has a uh, this lever on the on the back here. You can engage and disengage the brush roll. Um, but anyway, that's one type of vacuum. Uh, we actually, when I first started off, um, I used the vacuums like this. I can't remember. I, I guess they were Sanyos. It's been so long since I used them. I think that's what they were. The the um, cheaper version of this one is when I was using used that for a few years and what I ended what ended up happening in every case eventually I got rid of them not because the motor burned out or anything but because in the bottom where the body hinges on the foot part it would actually end up cracking and and breaking and I'd end up having to get rid of it after maybe a year or two I can't remember exactly how often that happened but I went through a few of those but they were all right for what they were they weren't that expensive um and the other type, of course, is the Pro Team. Again, it's a bagged vacuum. It's set up a little bit different. This was actually, uh, originally was made by Electrolux. Uh, it had a slightly different uh, design up at the top. There's the bag, obviously. There's a secondary filter underneath the bag. Um, and um, the original Electrolux version didn't have this hose. Actually, my very first vacuum was this type of vacuum, the Electrolux version without the hose, and eventually I got one of these. Um, these vacuums obviously are still sold. Um, this one I actually had to replace this this upper body off of an old one I had because on the back it actually the plastic started to come apart back back here, and uh, I've had some issues with things like that. That happened, and also the hinge broke on there, so. Um, uh anyway uh this vacuum in canada they're i think they're over they're around 650 now so they're a little getting a little pricey um it has good power 
Uh, it has the, uh, you can pop out the hose, the pipe very easily, vacuuming edges and that sort of thing, easy to do. Uh, it has a place for a couple of tools on the back. It has a dual motor setup, whereas this one here is a single motor, of course. This one you can turn on just the vacuum motor um, or br the vacuum motor and the brush roll. So that's different than both of these other ones here because the Hoover is a single motor type. Um, this vacuum, this type of vacuum or the Protein, I use these for years. Um, and I, I like them well enough. Um, they do have a tendency to clog. Once in a while I would have to clean out the, the, the vertical tube there because it, where it comes in on the bottom it sort of does a little angle and turns and comes back up and inevitably something would end up clogging it there. So that was actually a fairly common thing. They could not, not once a month, but certainly every two or three months I would end up with a clog. So I would try to um, uh, get ahead of that and try to remember to clean that out before that would happen because it, it just would do one, do that once in a while. But otherwise, um, I've been pretty much happy with that vacuum. But as the price has gone up, that was one of the reasons why I went to the... Uh, hush tone but so we'll talk about the hush tone now this is a, uh, was my latest I bought this a few months ago now you if you've been watching my videos you've seen my talking about this this is an excellent vacuum I have no uh, I no regrets buying it it's uh, it was a good price it was like 430 in Canada which is a really good price because we pay more for everything here <laughs> Uh, it's definitely got a lot of power. It actually is the most powerful vacuum of all these vacuums here. For sure, it has the most airflow. And the uh, water lift is around 90 or so. Um, I think the um, Pro Team is around uh, 90 CFM and around 80 to 90 um, water lift. So the Hush Tone definitely has more airflow. And I think it has a little more, wa little more, more water, water lift as well. I have no idea what the but well, this one is rated at, but whatever. Um, and this vacuum is a lot more user friendly in that um, it's easy to uh, unclog things. You can just, this hose just pops off of here. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, uh, there we go. And then you twist it and over here and it pops off. So that's easy to to get at, fix that after. And of course the the uh, uh, tool for getting along the edges, there you go. It's got a crevice tool stuck on the back of it there. This hose pops off get for getting into there if you have a clog or whatever. It comes off the back here as well. Very easy to uh, deal with all that sort of stuff. Um, and of course, if you've watched my videos, you know that this vacuum also has the unique Two speed, which is handy, um, and of course it has the the bagged system, and there's a secondary filter down there. It also has a HEPA, uh, as well as a carbon filter on, uh, in the, on the side there. Um, definitely a good vacuum, lots of power, and it's also pretty wide, uh, so you can cover a lot of area quickly with it. Um, now I was using. Kirby's for a while, as you probably all know, that you've been watching my videos. And I had the, the dust cup the Sanitaire mounted on the Kirby, on my other Kirby, which is actually sitting over, over there. Um, but what sort of prompted me to uh, rethink using the Kirby, and I have no problem with the way it performs, they're really a great vacuum, um, but was... The problem was that I was having problems getting the bag because you do have to replace those cloth bags every few months. They start to really blow dust like crazy because they're not really a good filtering. <laughs> and but what was worse than that was the the uh, mechan the bag uh, the dirt cup assembly. Um, I had a couple of them break on me, and then I was having uh, a real difficulty finding. Uh, replacement for that and uh, the, I did find one but it was like a hundred and fifty bucks or something ridiculous so I realized okay this is uh we're coming to the end of the line as far as going this way 
and there were other options which was uh that's when i went to the to the hush tone uh, but um i when i went to the hush tone of course i gave up the ability to see what i was picking up which has been a very good um with the dirt cup assembly has been a very good um tool i guess you could say to show the customers exactly what we're picking up out of the carpet um and as carpet cleaners that really helps that people understand that you're actually taking dirt out when you're using low moisture methods sometimes people aren't really grasping what you're up to uh, as far as the kirby's go they are an excellent choice and if you're looking to get into carpet cleaning and you're not wanting to spend a lot of money you can buy kirby's used very inexpensively this one is quite a bit older than this one but they both perform virtually identical i've bought i think i paid like 40 or 50 bucks for this one once this one here and probably a, i think a two or three hundred dollars for this one which is a much newer one they're um built like tanks uh they have the powered assist which is x you know really good if you're doing a lot of area a lot of area as well because the it takes very little effort to move them um although they they're it's not the they're not really that heavy they're about i think 21 pounds which isn't actually all that heavy for big strong guys like us right um uh, but um um and you can certainly there's you can adjust them up and down very easily which takes me back over to here <laughs> um these two vacuums have no height adjustment for the foot of the vacuum the brush roll just kind of floats along at a preset height and it, just, you know, it says there are automatic height adjustment but that mean what that means is it, there is no height adjustment <laughs> it just slides along on the bottom plate um, the hoover does have height adjustment it's got uh, basically three settings for the carpet and then a bare floor setting so it does have height adjustment now the kirby does have this height adjustment device right here so you raise it by going with on that pedal there and then you can drop it which is really handy for adjusting for different carpet heights and whatnot uh, so if i'm doing a really long shaggy kind of carpet like a decorator rug kirby will do that no problem because you can really raise it up high um the sanitaire which i I think I bought that a couple of years ago. Decided to give the Sanitaire uh, vacuum a try. It works fine. It's very noisy. Um, it's actually performance-wise very similar. Uh, I would say to the Kirby, um, and it does have height adjustment on the front there. There's a knob you turn for uh, height. Um, but um, when you're using this type of vacuum, of course you don't have especially this one here you can't put a hose on it you can put a hose on a kirby and i used to actually have a longer hose than the stock kirby hose you take the front that t-shape the, the where the brush roll is that unclips and you can put a hose on there and, and away you go but it's not ideal um i did that for a little while and then eventually i um uh, i realized that there was another another option which was i, I picked up this little shark um, upright with shark rocket and these are this is an excellent little tool really a lot of power and has an excellent power head that it comes with um, you can use them on steps of course or, or whatever even smaller areas i've sometimes i've run into some area rugs that are so thin that i can't put any of them on my any of these vacuums on but this will work on it so uh, but for doing edges and corners um, the uh, shark uh, it works really well. Uh, I paid a little over $200 for that. That's an excellent machine. Um, and of course it has um, a washout filter right there. And, uh, you know, it doesn't actually hold a lot, but boy, I can do the edges in a, in a house and uh, fill that up pretty fast sometimes. Of course you can dump it out easily and continue on, but um, that's a, a, an, an option um if you're going to use a, a what they call the fan forward or uh there's another word for that uh the uh oh i can't remember the name what we call that um direct air vacuum 
uh, with the fan where the fan is ahead of the bag and the, the, the fan spins and, and pushes the air and the dust into the bag as opposed to these type of vacuums where it's got a sealed uh, chamber and the air is drawn into the, into the chamber and then the bag or the filter stops it from going through the motor. So, um, as far as um, back to the edge machine here, th so this is a really good choice for doing your edges and corners. It doesn't mean obviously you carry something else in. Um, so that's where the these three vacuums do have an advantage because there is the ability to put on the um, edge pipe or whatever and do your edges and corners with that. So they have an advantage there. Although well, it's not a, a big deal. It doesn't really take that much more effort to put the uh, take the shark in with you i've done it both ways and it really doesn't make a big difference in the end but then there's this type of vacuum and this of course is my latest purchase but i want to talk a little bit about the the other option um which a lot quite a few guys are using the shark and this vacuum i actually bought not long after the first one there first shark um, because this vacuum, which my wife has been using for, well, nearly 20 years, the handle is, is actually cracking again, so I told her that this time I wouldn't fix it, so we had to maybe find something else for her. So I went and bought this for her, and it was not much more than $200. I can't remember, it was like 230 maybe or something in it. And it really has, really quite, it's quite, quite impressive. She likes it, which is good. Um, and, of course, you can see what you're picking up. And she just vacuumed the house earlier and it had about a, not quite a, it had quite a bit of junk in there. I cleaned it out already. I cleaned it out all the time for her, keep it good and clean. Um, I did try it f for, I took it out for a day or two uh, to see if I would like it um, for the business. And um, I don't like, I don't like the swivel thing on vacuums. I, I just find that clumsy. I just find a solid vacuum as much, you know, without the swivelly effect of the head. I, I, I don't like that feeling when I'm vacuuming. And um, there's just, this, this vacuum is not really suited for a commercial application to use it the, to the level uh, that I do. I mean, I literally run the vacuum hours a day. So um, I can see that this vacuum wouldn't really be... Uh, We'd be able to stand up to that much use. And of course, there's there's other versions of it. Um, of course, everybody knows about the Dyson, but you're going to be paying a lot more money for a Dyson. And um, and there's uh, Hoover makes one called the Wind Tunnel, and I guess pretty much all the uh, Dirt Devil makes one, and they're not very expensive. But the thing is that if you're going into somebody's house, I think it's a good idea to have a vacuum that at least um doesn't look like something that you go buy in walmart if you're you know being a professional that's my thought anyway i mean if that's where you need to begin then by all means because uh, you can buy these vacuums pretty darn cheap you know a couple hundred bucks or even less i guess but then we come to this vacuum and this is my latest acquisition if you've been watching my channel you've um seen me go from from one vacuum to the other <laughs> maybe even see me use that one i can't remember if i ever did any videos with the pro team but um i was a little bit hesitant to uh, try out the workhorse because i had found one a few, couple of years ago and tried it out and wasn't too impressed um at the time but it turns out that that one was probably not in very good operating condition. I think the brush roll was actually quite a bit worn down, more than I realized it was. When I got this one, I realized, yeah, that other one, the brush roll was quite a, quite worn down, so it wasn't working very well, obviously, and then maybe the motor wasn't in great shape. So anyway, as if you've been watching my videos, you've seen me post three or four videos using this vacuum now, and yes, I am impressed. It definitely is picking up a lot of junk out of the carpet now the pro team the question you guys some of you guys are asking me is which one is more powerful 
I'm sure this is a more power, powerful vacuum than the Hush Tone. However, I can't see when I'm picking up. Whereas this vacuum, as I'm going over, I'm actually literally seeing stuff come out of the carpet. And it's, it's amazing to see this. Look at that. Like a, there's a, like a, sometimes you hit a patch on the carpet where there's a bunch of dry skin down below. <laughs> it's quite shocking. Or sand or whatever. And you see this line of dirt just just flying into here and, and you can see it literally filling up before your very eyes and I've shown a couple of customers that actually happening they've been standing in front of me watching that and their their jaws hit the ground you know they're just astonished at, at what's coming out of their carpet that's a major selling point it really and truly is um, so let's uh, we'll go over this vacuum and I'll show you some of its um, features, I guess, and um, um, as far as using it, it does move nice, nicely on the carpet. It rolls easily back and forth, um, and it's compact, so it's um, in bedrooms alongside the bed and everything. I'm, I've, I'm noticing that it's um, working nicely. So I'm, I'm not, I don't really see anything that I don't like about it at this point. But um, I'll show you a couple of things about it. A nice little feature is that the wire, which is a pretty sturdy wire, I think the wire, uh, I, I think it's 30, 30 feet, I'm not sure. Uh, but it's a good solid heavy duty cord. Some vacuums have really spindly little cords that are too short. Kirby. <laughs> um, and it does have a, um, a hose attachment and to switch it from here I'll turn around so I got the light shining properly here so to have the um, to switch it from hose to the floor you just flip that that little thing there and that pops off and you can open this up if you have a clog in there. Ha ha. A little bit of dust there. Actually, I've never turned opened that up. I just realized I could do that by hand. So that's that's actually there's a little gasket in there. It's cool. So let's put that back. So if you ever so it's easy to get in there to have you um got something clogged in there. So tighten that up. And oh by the way, let me show you something little thing I almost forgot to show you. This is actually impressive. Can you see? There's a little brass thread there. Now I notice there's a, a, a underneath the, this thing they've done the same thing. So they've done some made an effort to actually make this thing um, pretty good quality I think to not just thread straight into plastic which you know is gonna wear out in no time but they actually have a brass uh, thread insert that's that's impressive so anyway that's how you switch it from um, the floor to the uh, hose here now the hose um, it's an interesting hose because it's uh, very springy and it's kind of got a real weird texture on it and it's really flexible and uh but it it didn't come with any tools however as it turns out this is a kirby kirby pipe and look at this Well, what do you know? So yes, you can put your Kirby pipe right there and there you go. And you just flip the, the lever to hose and you can do your edges very easily. Just remember to switch it back to uh, your floor after you've used the hose and don't try vacuuming the carpet after without any air moving in the head like I did yesterday <laughs> for a little bit. 
and then I realized, whoopsie. <laughs> anyway, um, so another thing I want to show you is that you can see the air. Let me think, how does this work? It comes up. Um, I'm not sure whether or not the air is coming up on this side or this side, but there's a it's hollow tube and then but you can see that you can um, if there's a clog up in here you can just undo these screws and this pops off and you can clean it out in there very easily so that's a nice so there's some real actual thought has gone onto this into this and there is a, uh, a filter system after the cyclonic chamber here which is sitting right here and I'm going to slide that up so you have a foam filter and then um, another secondary filter there and yes I did put the uh, the um, oh it'll come to me eventually the insulation there the, for um, giving it a tighter seal there that's one of the things that is uh, everybody who has these vacuums knows that we need to do that because you don't want any air to be going past the uh, filter without going through the filter um, Oh, what do we call that again? It'll come to me. Um, no, I'll just get this hose out of the way here. Now, I'll just show you how the, uh, <clears throat> how the um, canister opens. There's a lever on the back right here. You uh, flip it that way. And then it just turns and drops and you're done and you can just dump that out um, now this thing here actually does pull out of there you can just wash it out easily or knock it out or whatever you don't normally have to uh, do that during the day when you're using it I just uh, flip it over and knock out the dust and and then when I get Home, because it'll collect actually right in the bottom of there a little bit of uh, dust because of the way this the way the cyclonic thing here works. Um, this actually also comes off, and apparently um, it's not uncommon to get hair or something jammed in here. Um, but that's easy to pull it out of there. So that goes back up in here. Famous last words. There we go. And just, uh, huh. you know, I've done that quite a few times already, never had a problem. Oh, there we go. I think. Oh, there we go. Got it. Okay. And then, of course, that goes up into there, goes into place. Lever on the back. Okay. Now, as you can see, it does have a height adjustment. It's three settings. I've actually only used, used it on low so far. And let's have a look at the bottom. Now, so here's the bottom. And this uh, bottom plastic thing here. I think this is what's called Delrin. It's either that or nylon, I'm not sure. But um, I think this is a one of the reasons why it slides so easy because it's got a lower drag coefficient um, even than, than metal, I believe. And um, there's two screws and you can undo the screws and just pop that off belt of course is over here um and by the way when i got mine they had forgotten to put a clip on the end here and the wheels fell off the axle pulled out so i just put this on here <laughs> somebody goofed not a big deal i'm not gonna freak out about that but it's got nice these nice little roller wheels here and of course this is this is where the height adjustment happens 
<clears throat> and one more thing it has. Let me turn sideways here. I don't know if you can see that. But there's a reset button right there. So if the motor was to overheat somehow, um, and it, it, it would trip the over or the thermal switch here and you could reset it after letting it cool down. Um, as far as um, getting any clogs out, the hose pops off easily. And if there's something in there, you can get it out of there easily. Okay. Um, so it's a, and it, you can see that it's got an actual metal frame here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's actually a metal frame, which is actually, that's actually good. That you, you've got a metal frame and then the plastic, plastic body parts are attached to a metal frame. That's going to give you better, better durability in the long run, for sure. Uh, um, has a nice carrying handle right here on my right hand. Um, to lower the machine to operating position. Of course, you have this button right here. And to um, turn it on, you got a switch right here. And uh, anyway, that's that's the uh, uh, workhorse vacuum. So, which vacuum is the one to use? And I think at the moment, I would say that the one I I, I really actually like using this because I like seeing the dirt coming in and it's easy to use. So that's that's winning right now. Um, I will definitely use the Hoover on certain jobs, uh, particularly if I would say to get into a house is obviously very, very clean uh, and a big house. This will cover more area a little bit faster. Uh, and there are certain applications where this is gonna be a better choice because I would choose to use that in a case maybe where, because I'm gonna carry at least these three vacuums in my van. There are certain situations that I do run across where the Pro Team is a better choice. I can actually run it <clears throat> without the power without the power brush on. I can run it straight suction. So that there are certain situations where I might need to do that. So I have room to carry it. So I will. So that's the scoop about um, the vacuums. Um, and if you know, I know you, some of you guys are watching my videos and. And you've um, been following me al al along with me as I've tried out different vacuums, and you're wondering, well, which is the better vacuum to choose? If I only had one vacuum to choose right now, um, hmm, <laughs> it's actually kind of hard. If I only had one for, for residential, that would be this one. Um, for commercial, if I was doing commercial, it would definitely be that one. <coughs> Pardon me, <clears throat> because um, I don't think this would be, uh, it's a, a narrower, you know, not as wide. And I don't think that the uh, cyclonic is as big a deal uh, if you're doing a lot of commercial for, so for commercial, this would be a better choice for sure. Um, so it's basically between these two, these two vacuums on, on, on any day. Um, they both weigh about the same, by the way. I think maybe the Hoover's a bit heavier. But, um, and curiously enough, the, um, they're actually both about the same uh, volume of sound. Uh, interesting, I just realized that. The, um, yeah, the workhorse is actually quite quiet. In fact, in fact, someone mentioned that to me the other day. I was using it. They were a little surprised at how quiet it was. So, and the hush tone actually is rather quiet for a, a normal, you know, for a vacuum. The uh, by the way, the the shark is quieter than both of them for sure. It's really quite surprisingly quiet. So, uh, and uh, those three right there, those are definitely the noisiest. So, with the uh, sanitaire winning for noise, it's the, definitely the loudest vacuum. And they really bellow. But anyway, that's the story about uh, my vacuums and my thoughts on vacuums. And um, uh, so if you're looking to um, get a, um, 
either the workhorse or the hush tone. The hush tone I got from Amazon.ca, that's Canada, so I'm assuming they're available AmazonUSA.com, Amazon.com. Uh, I paid about 400 for my, 430 Canadian for my hush tone. Um, WandersProducts.com, I think is where I got this uh, workhorse for about 400 US. So they're both about the same price. In Canada, this would actually end up being more a little more because of the dollar difference in shipping. But um, yeah, there you go. So um, if you're thinking about either one of these vacuums, either one is a great choice. This has marketability advantages. This is more powerful, but you know. <laughs> It's hard to say which one is actually going to pull more out of the carpet because when you're actually seeing dirt come out of the carpet with the workhorse, you're going to slow down and actually keep going over that area until you see it stop coming. So hard to say. Um, either one is a good choice. So there you go. Give you something to think about. And and uh, I guess that's about all I can think of right now. So have a good day.